Hello, and welcome to our first episode of John O'Nelly's Magical Kitchen of 2021, where we're actually going to make something. So today, we are making Oreo truffles. You hear that? Truffles. These are really, really, really simple truffles. Um, they're much more complicated recipes that we could do, and maybe we will someday, but we're going to ease into it. So this one, what you need is Oreos, and we got Weggios, Brindy's favorite. And these are actually a little birthday surprise for a certain Brindy. Um, so you need Oreos and cream cheese. We only had a little bit of cream cheese left. Um, the recipe calls for eight ounces. We had five ounces. So you take those five ounces or however much you have, and it needs to be softened, so I just kind of let it come up to like room temperature so it'll be easier to mix in with the Oreos. And you need an entire package of Oreos, but because we didn't have the whole amount of cream cheese that we needed, that meant we didn't, didn't need the whole package of Oreos. So we've been slowly working on them. Oh. <laughs> so I took... I'm not crackling. I took about two thirds of the package of Oreos, put them in a food processor, and we're gonna blitz them up. And you wanna make sure all the big chunks are gone. <laughs> Looks like dirt. them too much because it's cream cheese and you can tell it's kind of like softening so we're gonna pop this in the fridge or freezer whichever one has more room um for about 30 minutes and then when we come back we will get to cover them in chocolate because what does this need more of chocolate see you then <laughs> all right it's been a few days uh we said 30 minutes we gave it 72 hours but it's still good so we have uh, our truffles out of the freezer so they're nice and cold for us so the next step is covering it in chocolate. Um, so to do this, because I work with chocolate, I got my nice new apron on with someone's wow. beautiful face, courtesy of uh, Nana Bard. So thank you very much. And um, Scotty. And Scotty, of course. Um, so yeah, so what we're gonna do, um, in order, because these are Oreos, we're going to melt down some white chocolate and some dark chocolate. So we're gonna start with the white chocolate. And what we're gonna do is once we melt them using the double boiler, um, we're gonna cover each truffle in the chocolate. Right. You can see it's, it's still a little bit solid, so we're gonna go a little bit further. I'm just keeping it moving so it doesn't scorch at all. It's getting there, it's getting there. Good news and bad news. Good news is we're going all chocolate. Bad news is the white chocolate didn't really melt and we didn't have enough to really use it. So. Instead, we're gonna switch to just chocolate chocolate because uh, that'll melt a little bit better. So, um, or melt at all, the other one didn't really. So, she went on a teeter totter today through dog agility. She went up, 
and then it comes down, and she's got to stay at the very end before it comes down. Otherwise, she goes boring. So, um, so I'm gonna take this off the heat, bring them over here while it's hot. We need an enrober machine. Yeah, right. We need like one of those conveyor belts, like on the Isle of Lucy. So two things that we learned in the magical kitchen. Kitchen. <laughs> One, Oreos and cream cheese melts very quickly. <laughs> so um, they're drying right now, right? So the, the dark chocolate is setting on the outside. So you can see some of them I got a really nice like finish on. Um, others like those, not so much. And it depended on the temperature of the chocolate that, you know, so that might've been one towards the end, whereas these were the first row that I did. Um, so it really, cho chocolate is, I mean, there's a reason why people become like professional chocolatiers. Working with chocolate is actually super difficult. So, um, unfortunately, oh, I had a taste test midway through the video, which you'll probably have seen, and they tasted very good. But we're gonna save the rest of these, let them um, kind of set so the chocolate's nice and crisp. Um, but because they are a gift for a friend of ours, we're not gonna eat them. I might save a couple for myself. Yeah, I think the ones that look really terrible will keep. But um, I hope you like the uh, struggle of me playing with chocolate there. Um, but uh, thank you for coming to the ep this episode of The Magical Kitchen. We hope you had fun. And until uh, next time, see ya. What'd you find? <laughs> So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make maple syrup uh, candy or taffy. Um, it's a blizzard outside, so this is the perfect time. So to do this, you need a little bit of maple syrup. So we're gonna use about a half a cup. Um, you know. What tool do you have? Oh, we have this very cool spatula. Christmas um, present. Yeah, it's an awesome Christmas present. So you can see there's a little thermometer end at the very tip of the, the spatula. And it'll tell us how hot the, um, the syrup is. So it helps us prevent um, boiling uh, too hot or too cold. Um, yeah. Well, we actually know the temperature because that's what we didn't have in some of our other yeah. videos. <laughs> yeah. All right, so check back with me in like five minutes, get all bundled up. We're gonna go outside into the blizzard and uh, make sure you have your boots on. Are you stuck? Oh, no, you're not stuck. What are you barking at me? We're at 216, so another 10, 15 degrees or so, and you see it's starting to foam up. So we're getting a really nice uh, candy. Candy, yeah, basically <laughs> candy. It smells so good. 220. Pull it up, pull it up. Pull it up. You need shoes on. I know. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a dash to the door. 221. All right, guys, welcome to outside. It's a blizzard out, so you can see what we're gonna do. Is we got chopsticks so that way we have um, something to eat it off of. And this is nice clean snow. Nice fresh blizzard snow. So we're gonna pour it real gently on top. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it. Oh, the wind. <laughs> Alright guys, that one didn't work so well. Oh, it looks pretty, hey, that looks pretty good. Alright, so we're just gonna move it. I'm gonna hold this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pack it a little bit. Looks real wintry. Alright. <laughs> real good. Dogs are getting reckless. They want their candy. Oh, oh man, <laughs> that's so much snow. Oh, man. That's a lot. Yeah. All right, now roll, 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 roll. Rolling, we're rolling. You got all this over here. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> all right, and that is a maple candy. <laughs> so we're gonna let that freeze. We keep rolling it. We wanna cool it down. 
much as possible. All right. Oh, guys, this is the great northern treat right here. All right. So we're gonna just let that cool off. We're gonna let it sit. And I'll try to get a little bit more flour in the front of Yeah. What about the stuff on our railing? Well, we'll clear that up. Oh. In the summer. Oh no, I lost it. <laughs> All right. How do Canadians do this? <laughs> Years of experience. Yeah, really. Well, I mean, it worked. It totally worked. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> We're gonna go back inside. It's freezing. It's a blizzard out. So uh, there we go. There, Maple Canyon. See you inside. Destruction. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is our candy. Um, it's maple syrup candy. So, uh, camera girl, here you go. Let me. Oh, it drips. <laughs> let me take that for you. You taste test. Tastes like maple syrup, but yeah. like roasted maple. It's like roasty. Like, yeah, yeah, delicious. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Mm. So. Um, we hope you like this recipe, this little bonus. Uh, if uh, it's snowing at your house, give it a try. Otherwise, see you later.